I hope you are not all going for those M&Ms because we want to call Ricardo Costa to the stage to show how a bank has used gamification to boost its recurrent net income by billions of dollars. Welcome, Ricardo. Hello, good morning. Uh, so I'm here, well, I'm here to to show you a um, history that I think it's very interesting on how we can, how we are generating results on big companies using gamification. Uh, so I am the president and CTO at Funny Fire, and I would like to start this presentation uh, talking about something very interesting. Sorry. Ah, great, great, much better. <laughs> so I, I would like to uh, show you something interesting that I have seen happening in over these years. Uh, a lot of consistent and professional gamification projects have been implemented on, on all these years. And recently we saw big companies opening uh, their eyes for this amazing too. They, s they can see uh, that gamification can be a powerful tool to manage uh, the engagement inside and outside the companies. So I want to show you something that happened in Brazil. But before I tell you the story that happened, it's important to say that in Brazil, we have been facing uh, a huge economic recession uh, in the recent years. A lot of companies broke, a lot of people lose their jobs, lost their jobs, and in this scenario, one of the customers of Funifier, Caixa Econômica Federal, that is the largest public bank in Latin America, they, they have achieved on their best moment in the history, eight billion in recurring net income. So this is one of the goals that the bank has every year, be, be profitable. And <coughs> the president of the bank uh, proposed a goal of achieving nine billion in recurring net income. So everybody saw this as a huge challenge to be completed. And <coughs> we are talking about uh, this result, 9 billion reais is something around 2.5 billion US dollars, just to give you a perspective. And <coughs> When they define this huge challenge on this uh, difficult scenario, they understood that it would, it would be necessary to engage all their employees. And we are talking about a company, a big company, that have 83,000 employees, active employees in the company, and they are uh, working on more than 4,500 different locations in, in the country. So just to give you an idea of uh, the, the, the size and, and, and the hard that it is to achieve all of these people, if we get all the countries that we have in Europe, except of course the Russian part, all the countries in Europe fit in Brazil. So it's sometimes it's very difficult to reach people uh, in, s in some specific areas of Brazil. And <coughs> is that good? <laughs> the audio? Okay. So to start the engagement process, it's very important to have a well-defined goals for each player. 
So what we did, we got the main goal of the bank, that was achieved 9 billion in recurring net income. And we start to divide this in goals by board. And then we start to divide each goal by goals for each team. And then we split this again in goals per person. So this way, we understood that, OK, if every person, if every employee complete their personal goals, so the bank will complete the main goal. So we, we did this together with all the boards. We, we asked to different areas, OK, hey, HR, human resources area, what you should do to help us to achieve that goal. So we need to do this, this, and that. IT, what you need to do, this, this, and that. So we did this with all areas of the bank, uh, sales, marketing, uh, uh, all the areas. And we, at the end, we had goals for each employee in the bank. And then, to make it very clear of what every employee should do, what was expected from them, we create a gamification and we give the name, we are together to achieve 9 billion. To make it clear for the employees that they should work together to help the bank achieve the main goal. Okay? So this is the, the logo of this project. And <coughs> when we are talking about creating a gamification project for companies with this size, it came uh, some challenge uh, that, well, people that are working on companies like this knows very well. So we start defining a, an engagement strategy to achieve all these employees. And when you are working with engagement, with gamification, you know that different people are motivated by different ways. So if you use one set of features, it's OK, maybe you can achieve, you can motivate some groups, but not others. So it was important to build a strategy that could, uh, that could achieve and motivate all this heterogeneous public. <laughs> uh, OK, so when we are talking about gamification strategy, we use what we call game techniques. I love, to s I love to call this engagement techniques because this is the main purpose for these features, for these techniques. And then we started this strategy using what we call list of challenges. This is one of the more than 90 different game techniques that we have available to use in gamification projects. And why we choose this list of challenge technique? Because this is a very powerful way to communica communicate the goals for that uh, have been set by the bank for each employee, for each team. So it's, it's easy to the employees to understand what they should do. So basically, the list of challenges is a list of a to-do list, OK? But uh, to, to implement this technique in our strategy, it would be necessary not only have the goals defined, but also we need to have a way to know I when every employee have achieved each challenge. So to 
to do that, it was necessary to integrate this gamification strategy with many systems that the bank have inside. So I, I'm talking about systems of different areas of the bank, uh, implemented in different programming languages, managed by different uh, administrators, and <coughs> we, uh, we ought to use all of this data to make the, the challenge list available in, in this strategy. And to do that, we create a, a team uh, with employees of the bank, employees of Funifier, employees of FLAP, that is the marketing agents that partner with us in that project. And we create that group to be sure uh, that we are that we were going to uh, manage well all the risks involved in in this project. This is very important when you want to create a gamification like that, to have people dedicated to that, to have people that really takes care about the project, because. Okay, we are doing a gamification, but this is very serious. And well, basically the bank were doing a, a project that is very innovative and they didn't want to have any kind of issue in the process. So that's why it was very important to create this group dedicated to the project. And one of the risks they were looking to avoid or it was the risk re related to the system that were going to be the base of this gamification. So when you are creating a gamification, uh, basically you need, you need to process all the en engagement strategy and <coughs> this is part of the risk that you need to manage. So you are going to use, you are going to uh, input data from different systems in a software that is going to process all of that data. Uh, and it will run the gamification strategy. And it's very important to have all of this running well. So that's why the bank have choose Funifier as their gamification engine because inside the bank they have implemented other uh, gamification projects successfully using this software. And also outside the bank, in other banks in Brazil and uh, in other countries, they saw uh, other gamification projects that really generate results using the same tool. And also in other companies, companies not only in financial industry, but companies with uh, similar sizes were using the same software. So this was one, one way to uh, manage better the risks related to the software, to the base of this. And then we add another game technique. So we had implemented the challenge list technique to communicate the goals for every, play, for every player. And then after, we, we configure in the platform another game technique called collection. So basically, uh, a collection is something that you have pieces uh, linked in one collection. And what we did, every time a player complete a challenge in the strategy, they win, they earn a random piece of one of the many different collections 
available in the game. And the collections used to having this in, in this gamification, images like uh, the images that you are seeing here, a TV, a video game, a drone, a coffee machine, and each collection have different amount of pieces required to complete that collection. And the good thing is that once the player complete all the pieces of a collection, they could exchange that uh, collection, that completed collection, uh, by the same reward that they have in the, in the image. So if you complete all the parts related to the TV, you could go there and exchange that collection by, the, by a real TV. And this brings another uh, risk, another uh, important thing to manage. I'm talking about budget. So in a company of this size, each department is a huge company. Each department have their own budget to pay for the re rewards uh, of the employees in that department. So the, the platform, the system behind this, should manage this also. The system should uh, reward the people when they complete challenges, reward with random pieces of collections, but also be care about the budget of each department. So the system, every time it uh, uh, reward the player with a piece of a collection, it was monitoring the amount of budget that each department, each group have available for that. Uh, you that work in big companies, Uh, probably know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> These are some common uh, points that you need to take care when you are going to deliver a project like this in uh, big companies like Caixa. And then we have seen something interesting happening in, in the bank. This was not the first engagement campaign done in the bank. Actually, they are always doing uh, campaigns to, uh, to motivate their employees. But the best campaigns before this, the best campaigns uh, never really engage too many people. Why? Because before this, in the other campaigns, they usually uh, set goals only to the department. And when someone gets rewarded, most of the time are the manager of that department. And this brings a serious problem. The people uh, don't see that they can really win if they work hard. So in this gamification, at the first moment, we, uh, we saw uh, a, a, an employee in a very far agent of the bank winning a TV, and everybody saw that in the game. And this is uh, another important uh, way to engage, let the people know what's happening. And then the other employees saw that they could really win something if they work hard. And then something changed on their minds, and they start to be engaged on the process. And this is the video that we did to communicate about the project for the employees. A campanha Tamo Junto 9 de Mais está sendo um sucesso. Pela primeira vez na história da Caixa, todo mundo pode ganhar. Quando objetivos e desafios são concluídos, você conquista novos cards. Eles podem ser colecionáveis ou instantâneos. 
Com os cards instantâneos, você é premiado na hora. Já os cards colecionáveis são partes de vários prêmios. Quanto mais objetivos cumprir, mais chances tem de ganhar. Quando você completa todas as partes, é premiado. Os cards verdes são entregues quando o desafio do módulo de pilares de gestão e itens prioritários é concluído. Já os cards laranja são dos módulos Realize Ponto Caixa, Marco de Resultados e Superação 9B+. Você e a sua unidade concorrem a diversos produtos e podem ganhar muitos outros prêmios. Mas vale lembrar que cards de cores diferentes não se completam, hein? Os cards são distribuídos de maneira aleatória e você pode receber alguns cards colecionáveis repetidos. Mas não se preocupe, eles são muito valiosos. E com o mercado 9B+, fica ainda melhor. Um espaço onde você pode trocar seus cards e ficar mais perto de conseguir o prêmio que você deseja. Além disso, no final da campanha, os seus cards colecionáveis incompletos se transformam em números da sorte para o sorteio de outros prêmios. E tem mais! Sua unidade pode ganhar um carro. Basta alcançar a meta de 100% nas apurações mensais e bimestrais do Realize Ponto Caixa seis vezes durante a campanha. Assim, a unidade se habilita para concorrer ao carro. Mas vale lembrar que bater 100% em dezembro é obrigatório. E o que define as unidades que ganham é o PRV de cada vice-presidência. E até dezembro, quando a Caixa bater a meta dos 9 bilhões de reais em lucro líquido recorrente, unidades e empregados vão ganhar até 500 pacotes de viagens para Cancún. 10 desses pacotes são para os melhores empregados da categoria diamante do time de vendas qualificadas. Partiu Cancún! E aí, tamo junto? So they expect in the best scenario to achieve the result just after one year, in the best scenario. Most of the people didn't really believe that it would be possible to achieve that. Uh, but be because of this strategy, because of the success on engaging people, because the people saw that they could really be re re rewarded uh, with their individual effort, uh, we could go from 10% of engagement, that this is the usual uh, uh, previews, Uh, best uh, uh, engagement, amount of employees that used to be engaged on the previous campaigns. We go from 10% to 92% of engagement. So every employee start to really work on that. Uh, we, we could push uh, the engagement inside the bank. And this bring, just after four months of the start of the gamification, uh, the result that, that they were expecting. Uh, they have achieved 9 billion in recurring net income. And then we keep uh, adding more uh, techniques. Uh, the, the president asks us, hey, uh, keep going, uh, add more, uh, more phases on this, uh, let people uh, keep uh, engaged on this. And then we add what we call a milestone un unlock. We add uh, that bar that you can see there, uh, where we where we show to every employee how, uh, the progress through the main goal. And every time they complete parts of this goal, the bank start to unlock more, uh, more rewards for the employees. So the bank were using uh, a small piece of the reward uh, generate, uh, of the result generated in new rewards. So this is good for the bank because they, were, they are uh, getting closer to the to the main goal, and this is good for the employees because they are expecting to have more and more rewards on, uh, on this. And after a certain moment, a uh, few people start to get uh, duplicated pieces of collections. And then we, we introduce a virtual store where the players could exchange uh, their, uh, the, the pieces of these collections with other players to complete more quickly the collections and get rewarded. And then we saw the engagement keeping high, and we, just in six months, we achieved uh, 11.5 uh, billion in recurring net income. They, they never expect this in any scenario. It, it was huge for them. And then we saw something, some uh, interesting stories happening in, in this uh, project. 
uh, I remember one day that uh, one employee have received a physical coffee machine, and the player uh, asked to give back the coffee machine to receive again the, the used pieces of collection he had, uh, because for him, uh, use the, the pieces in, in, the, in the system and exchange with other players and let him uh, keep interacting with that was better than receiving a monetary reward. So this is something interesting that happened. And, and then, because the result was so big, the bank agreed to start for the first time again to reward their employees with cars. Because every time they achieve uh, a, a certain uh, result, the, 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 a part, uh, a small piece of the result was converted into rewards. So they start to have a lot of money <laughs> uh, to reward. And, and then they say, hey, uh, now we are going to give cars for the employees because we are generating billions in, 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 in as a result. So we have introduced another game technique here, lottery, uh, where the people could uh, convert their pieces of collections into tickets to participate in, the, in this lottery. And some employees started to uh, win these cars in the game. And this uh, was an, another very powerful way to keep them engaged. And another interesting story that happened uh, during the project was a story that a manager uh, of the bank told to us. She was she were in a floor of a big uh, building of the bank. And at a certain moment, she heard uh, all the, the mobile phones of every employee in the floor uh, with the alert uh, with the sound of the alert, clock alert, clock alert, alert? okay. <laughs> uh, and, and she say, what's happening, what's happening? It, it, it was like a, a scene of a movie. And, and, and then she, she remembered that, well, that time was the time that another game technique were, uh, have been uh, published to the to the employees that they were going to, we were going to open that uh, new feature on that time. So at that moment, uh, 60,000 employees drawing at the same second the system, and I am talking about 80, 83,000 employees in total, and just in one second, at the same second, 60,000 were interacting with the system. And we keep doing that month by month, and, and then at the end of the year, they saw uh, the result, the, the final result published was 12.7 uh, billion uh, in recurring net income. So they were very happy. They saw the power of this. And after that, they saw that gamification should not only be used in uh, specific campaigns, but should be used as a recurring tool to manage this powerful act, uh, uh, um, uh, element inside the, the company. That's it. Uh, I think we don't have more time to, to questions, uh, <laughs> unless people say here that we have. And uh, nice to meet you all. If you have any questions, I'll be there uh, to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you.